What's up guys, Turgo Live here. In today's video, we're actually gonna go over 10 different tips and tricks to help you with Assassin's Creed Valhalla that I actually wish I knew sooner. Some of these tips are actually included in some of my other videos, but I figured one video that had 10 tips and tricks would be better. If this video does provide you value, make sure you smash that like button, hit that sub button at the end of the video. But without further ado, let's hop right straight into the tips. All right, so the first tip is you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you upgrade your rations as soon as possible. Health does not regenerate in this game like previous Assassin's Creed, so you will want to make sure that you work on getting lots of materials like iron and leather so that you can upgrade your rations bag. Doing so will only help you stay alive longer. Second tip is coming down to combat with a bow. When you target an enemy with a bow, there will be a yellow orangish highlights across the body, namely the torso, arm or legs depending on the enemy but that makes it more susceptible to a stun attack making certain fights a lot easier to handle the next tip involves doing flighting every opportunity that you get flighting is norse for embarrassing someone through verse and rhyme and basically our rap battles glorified rap battles the main reason that you would want to do this is that they can help you unlock additional dialogue options during every main story quest which can drastically change the outcome you can usually find them in new towns, new settlements, but make sure you do them every chance that you do get. The fourth tip is how to make fire arrows. It took me a while to figure out how to make fire arrows, but I really found the best method of making them. First, pull out your torch from your action wheel by pushing down on your directional pad or G on your keyboard. Then throw it on the ground and then pull out your bow and then walk straight over it with your bow and it lights your arrows on fire. In order to get the whole set though, you need to walk your whole quiver over the fire and then it'll light those on fire as well. You can also find a bonfire or a brazier near you that you can light it off as well. You have to do that for each new set of arrows that you want on fire there. The fifth tip really resonates with people that have played the previous Assassin's Creed games, and that is how the Raven works. Okay, your Raven in Valhalla does not mark individual enemies like it did in Odyssey or some of the previous ones, but you can manually mark a spot so it's easier to spot as Eivor, and it's a good use to be able to get an aerial view of what you're looking at, but again, it does not personally mark your enemies anymore like it did before. It just is a good scout and you can mark your area that you're looking at. Next up is how to exit the Animus. You go to the inventory tab and you'll see in the lower right where there is an Animus button for controller players. It will be up on the directional pad. However, for PC players, I'm still not sure what the button is to press it, but that is where it's located is in the lower right of the inventory tab in your menu. And it'll take you to the menu where you can technically change Avor's appearance from male to female or exit simulation. And that's really how you exit the Animus. To my knowledge, you do not lose any data when you leave the Animus. All right, so tip number seven. Unlike in previous Assassin's Creed games, collectible items and points of interest are now shown on the map as three categories. First of all is wealth, which is ingots and abilities known on the map as books of knowledge and weapons. Number two, mysteries, which is side world quests and puzzles or challenges. And three, artifacts, cosmetics and treasure maps. Wealth are yellow dots on your map. Mysteries are like a bluish dot and artifacts are a white dot. Now the eighth tip is the only way that you're able to get abilities in Valhalla. And it's if you find the books of knowledge that use adrenaline to perform. You will be able to find the books of knowledge around the world and they are the wealth's yellow dots that you see on your map. Another thing that I did notice when I was looking for these is that they are normally a little bit bigger yellow dots as they are varying sizes of dots on the map. So look for the bigger yellow dots on your map to be able to find those books of knowledge. Now we're gonna go over tip number nine and this is how to use Odin's Sight. Odin's Sight is Valhalla's form of Eagle Vision that has been around for a long time, but Odin's Sight can be used by pressing R3 on your controller or pressing and holding V on your keyboard for PC. This shows enemies, objectives, and also stuff like mysteries as well as wealth. All right guys, so this is the 10th and final tip and it's how to call your longboat to you whenever you are near water. 
what you need to do is you need to hold down on your D-pad or G on your keyboard to bring up your actual and select your boat. Uh, this is especially useful when you're trying to get away uh, from enemies or you travel very far from your boat. This is a new feature that they have added in Valhalla. Again, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I hope that this helps with your travels through Norway and England. Do you want to mention I am a Twitch streamer. If you want to check me out over there, I actually stream five days a week on Twitch. I also have been doing some YouTube streams. Um, but other than that, uh, you guys have a good one. Hope this video does help. Take care, guys.